Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Cohen, and I'm here to share with you a top 10 list of tips for women with bacterial vaginosis. Tip number one, know when to suspect that you have bacterial vaginosis. Bact bacterial vaginosis, also called BV, is the most common cause of vaginal discharge in women of childbearing age. It causes a fishy odor and it can be most noticeable after sexual intercourse. However, many women with bacterial vaginosis have, vaginosis have no symptoms at all. Bacterial vaginosis is important because it can lead to, it increases your risk of getting HIV, gonorrhea, chlamydia, and herpes. Tip number two, see your doctor. If you are having increased vaginal discharge or fishy odor after intercourse, it's important to see your doctor to make sure of the diagnosis of bacterial vaginosis and to make sure you don't have another type of infection. Tip number three, don't smoke. Smoking is one of the proven risk factors for bacterial vaginosis. So there are many reasons not to smoke and reducing your risk of bacterial vaginosis is another reason. Tip number four, avoid douching. Douching or applying a liquid to the, into the vagina is actually a risk factor for bacterial vaginosis. Many women will douche just to make themselves feel, feel fresh or clean, but actually douching can disrupt the bacteria that are normal in your vagina, particularly lactobacilli, which produce hydrogen peroxide and which actually protect your vagina from bad bacteria. So it's important not to disrupt the good bacteria by not putting douche into your vagina. Tip number five is limit the number of sexual partners you have. Multiple sexual partners is a risk factor for bacterial vaginosis as well as sexually transmitted diseases. So it's important to only have one sexual partner at a time. Tip number six is to treat bacterial vaginosis. So your doctor will prescribe you treatment for bacterial vaginosis, and there are generally two types of treatments. One is by mouth, and one is a gel that's inserted into the vagina. Uh, a recommended treatment is metronidazole, 500 milligrams, twice a day for seven days by mouth. An alternative treatment, which is just as effective, is a vaginal metronidazole vaginal gel, which is inserted into the vagina once daily for five days. Whenever taking metronidazole, it's important not to drink alcohol because you can have a serious reaction, which will involve chest pain, dizziness, and can low blood pressure, and can be dangerous. Another tip about taking metronidazole or any antibiotic is to make sure you complete the entire course of your antibiotic that's prescribed. Even if your symptoms go away, it's important to finish the treatment course of your antibiotic so that you don't cause the bacteria that you're treating to become resistant. Tip number seven, sexual partners of women with bacterial vaginosis generally do not need to be screened or treated for bacterial vaginosis. The exception is, is women who have sex with women. Women who have sex with women, their partners should be, die, should be screened for bacterial vaginosis and treated if they have it. Tip number eight. If you have recurrent bacterial vaginosis, which is more than three episodes of BV in a year, it's recommended that you be treated with prophylaxis, prophylaxis or a protective dose of metronidazole for six months. You're, you can discuss this with your doctor, but in general, you take seven days of metro, metronidazole by mouth, twice a day, 500 milligrams, along with boric acid vaginal insert, 600 milligrams for a total of 21 days. That starts on the same day as you start the metronidazole. And then after you complete the vaginal boric acid, your doctor will test to make sure that the bacterial vaginosis has cleared and then prescribe a vaginal gel of metronidazole twice weekly for six months. This can help women who have repeated episodes of bacterial vaginosis. Tip number nine, 
treatment in pregnancy and nursing women. Women who are pregnant and who are having symptoms of bacterial vaginosis should be treated and in general the recommendation is metronidazole, the oral form, 500 milligrams twice daily for seven days. Women who have symptoms, women who are nursing with bacteria and have, are fa and have symptoms of bacterial vaginosis. In other words, women who are breastfeeding and have symptoms of bacterial vaginosis should also be treated, but they should be treated with metronidazole vaginal gel for five days. And tip number 10 is to believe in yourself. Bacterial vaginosis is very common. It's not a sexually transmitted disease, and there are effective ways to prevent and treat it. I hope these tips have been helpful, and thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.